everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll be showing you how to do a factory reset or as known as power wash on a Chromebook. On this channel I do a variety of videos so I'm not just uh, limited to a specific topic or subject and I do some uh, Chromebook videos as well. So today uh, I have uh, my Chromebook right here and I'm going to show you up to the point where you can uh, you know start doing power wash or uh, factory reset on a Chromebook but just to mention that you know if your Chromebook is managed by a an organization or a company or a school authority then you know you shouldn't be doing a power wash or you may need to talk to the administrator before you do any reset on a Chromebook but if you own your own Chromebook or you know if you'd like to just do a uh, have a fresh uh, start on your Chromebook then definitely the power wash or factory reset is the way to go and the difference between uh, Chromebook uh, factory reset or power wash and Windows factory reset and power wash is that uh, the Chromebook power wash is very easy and simple and it doesn't take a lot of time uh, unlike Windows power wash so it takes about five to ten minutes so we have uh, mainly uh, two ways to do the power wash and uh, I'm going to show you uh, both ways the difference between uh, these two ways is that the first way uh, you don't have to actually log into the Chromebook you can do, just do it without logging in and the second way is going to be uh, you have to uh, log in into the Chromebook and then you can uh, do the power wash so here we have the Chromebook and uh, this one is actually uh, uh, it's off right now so I turned off the power so the first setting I'm going to be showing you is when you are not you know logged in into your Chromebook and basically this is the instructions which I have it on my card so you need to control or you need to hold onto these all four keys you know together or simultaneously so shift control alt and R then it will give you the option to do a power wash on your Chromebook without logging in so let's say uh, we'll open this Chromebook So you can see that uh, the Chromebook is not, uh, you know, I, I didn't log in yet. So it's just asking me to log in uh, right here. And uh, so you can log in and do a power wash, but I'll show you even without logging in and do a power wash. So if I just, you know, put this here. So these four keys, which is shift right here. Uh, let me just, you know, uh, up my Chromebook a little bit so you can see. Okay, so here we have the shift key, here we have the control key, and here we have the alt key, and you're going to have to go to the R key, which is right here. So you have to hold onto this or off all together simultaneously. So if you do like this, one, two, three, and then hit R. And then I will just remove this. And then I'll show you that you're getting this message right here. And I'll just, you know, bring the Chromebook a little bit closer. Uh, the good thing is I released the keys and still I have the uh, screen on. So you can still, you know, uh, do the uh, power wash or reset. So here it says reset this Chromebook device and power wash to reset your Chrome device to be just like new. All user accounts and local data will be removed. So before you do any, any sort of power wash or factory reset, if you need something which you installed on your you know, hard, hard drive or uh, you know, inside your Chromebook, then you better do a backup and just you know, remove them first because this is going to erase everything you have on your Chromebook. So right now, the only thing you have to do is hit this button right here and then this is going to start the power wash process which could take 5-10 minutes. So I'm not going to do it because you know uh, I don't need to do a power wash but uh, you can take it from here. So this is the first way to do and again you need to hold on to these four keys all together shift control alt r. Now let's say you want to do a power wash I'm going to escape and got rid of it. So now the next step is going to be when you log in. So let's log in first. Okay, so right now I'm logged. 
I'm logged in so I'm going to just you know show the next way you can do the power washer factory reset and the instructions are right here so basically we're going to go to the settings and then there will be actually two options which I'll show you both but then uh, you have to just follow these instructions right here so the Chromebook settings is right here and if you just you know put your cursor right here and click on the lower right corner on the tray then you'll see that the wheel button which is right here and that's the settings button right there so if you just click on it then you'll get this screen and then here you can see that there are two ways you can do this so here it's giving you a search option right here and what you can do you can just search for power wash so let's do that so if you just search for power wash you are seeing that option right here and it's giving you that option that you know uh, remove all user account and reset your Google Chrome device to be just like new and if you hit here reset so which I do that then it's going uh, a message is popping up to confirm your action so if you just hit now restart which is right here then it's going to start you know the process which I'm not going to go right now because uh, I don't need to power wash but this is one way to do it now let's say you don't want to search for it then there's another way you can do it and basically you have to just follow this step so you are going to go to advanced then you're going to go to privacy and security reset settings and power wash so let's uh, follow that so advanced is right here so it's kind of to the end so if you hit here then it's giving you more options and one of them is privacy and security which is right here so if I hit on that then here are more options and if you just uh, scroll down the last option you're looking at is reset settings power wash so basically we came here before just by searching but now this is the second way to come here from uh, privacy and security and from here so it's the same thing so if you just hit the reset and then if you hit the restart button then it's going to you know uh, start the process so these are the very simple steps you can do to go through your factory reset or removing or erasing everything on your Chromebook and give it a new life a brand new start again just a word of caution that if your Chromebook is being managed by someone else like you know like your company or your business or your uh, school then just make sure that you know uh, you are you have the you know authorization to do a power wash or if you don't then you will not be you shouldn't be able to try to do it uh, and then you know let the admin uh, IT or admin of your Chromebook who manages your Chromebook uh, you have to just talk to them but if it's your own personal Chromebook then definitely you can go through the you know steps or power wash anytime you want and these are the simple steps you can follow so just wrap it up uh, these are the two ways you can do it the left one is without logging into your Chromebook Chromebook and the right one when you're logged in so basically they are the same thing just a little bit slightly different steps and it's very easy very simple anyone can do it and if you just follow the steps I showed you then you'll be able to do it too thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there'll be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you hi guys thank you for watching this far I'm just going to uh, give you a quick uh, peek uh, on some of my top uh, Chromebook videos so if you uh, are watching this Chromebook video that means you uh, you know you have a Chromebook or you like Chromebooks and uh, here is a list of my top Chromebook videos in the past uh, 48 hours and actually this Chromebook videos are they're doing very well they are actually always you know on the top 10 so for example this is how to change wallpaper on Chromebook that's that's staying number one number two is how to take uh, screenshots on Chromebook and number three how to print from a Chromebook 
and then we have another one here just brought uh, just about a Chromebook what to do next and then we have another one here here is how to unlock Chromebook with your uh, smartphone so you're gonna get uh, some of these uh, video links in the description box below and uh, there is a link another link uh, how to, uh, Chromebook tips and tricks where you'll see all my Chromebook videos so thank you for watching and hope to see you shortly